Hello everyone, today we will use Maple Sim, a toolbox from MapleSoft to model for auto pendulum. The schematic diagram of the pendulum is shown on right hand side of the screen. We have horizontal rotating arm. At the free end of the horizontal arm, we have another hinged link which is free to rotate about horizontal arm. Starting with, uh, we will first place a ground of fixed reference frame. This frame represents the base of the Furata pendulum. The next component is revolute joint. I will again search for it. The inboard frame of the revolute joint is connected to fixed frame. This, re this revolute joint is actuated by a DC motor which will be modeled in next presentation. We will assume that the horizontal link is slender with mass concentrated at the center of the geometry. The point mass at the center of gravity is represented by a rigid body in maple sim. Rigid body frame helps to define the translation of rigid body with respect to the frame of adjacent components in this case uh, with respect to the revolute joint the rigid body end of the rigid body frame is always connected to rigid body this uh, black and white circle this will always be connected to rigid body and another end other end is connected to adjacent component the in this case the revolute joint similarly we will have another rigid body frame which defines the translation from rigid body to second revolute joint we assume the gravity is in negative z direction it is already defined as negative z and the value of gravity is gr which will be defined in our parameter list the base revolute joint rotates about z axis positive z axis rigid body translation is uh, negative l by 2 since the uh, center of gravity is at the center of the link and uh, we go fr uh, from local rigid body frame to revolute joint in negative x direction that is why negative l by 2 and other frame we go to positive l1 by 2 the mass of the link is m1 And the link is assumed to be symmetric about uh, z and y axis. Uh, so we give it the same value for moment of inertia i1 and i1. And moment of inertia about x axis is assumed to be 0 since the radio radius of rotation is very small as compared to other axes defined in a parameter list the process of parameter defining is trivial and can be easily understood by watching maple sim webinars once we have laid down our horizontal link we can make a copy of it without dragging and dropping library components and just make minor changes to make it vertical pendulum link Connect revolute joint to uh, the outboard rigid body frame. This revolute joint rotates about x axis. First uh, rigid body frame is 
extended in negative z direction so l2 by 2 and positive l2 by 2 mass of second pendulum link is m2 link assumed to be symmetric about x and y axis so the moment of inertia about x and y axis of the center of mass is taken as i2 and i2 again the moment of inertia about z axis is negligible now our model is ready to simulate we will just hit the run simulation computer simulation we do not have any disturbance to our pendulum therefore there is no movement to our pendulum now let us create an artificial disturbance instead of having pendulum in perfectly upright initial configuration let us make some initial offset to perfect upright position this is done by enforcing initial conditions to second revolute joint so we will say strictly enforce initial conditions to 6 degrees run the simulation again now we can see the free fall of pendulum due to gravity we can see the effect of inertia coupling between the two links because of the movement of pendulum horizontal arm is swinging in this simulation we can analyze the movement in greater detail by generating required time plot of joint variables we can we will attach one probe to outboard rotation frame of uh, base revolute joint and call it motor angle can measure angle speed and acceleration i am measuring just angle for this time another probe to second revolute joint and call it pendulum angle simulation again to see the plots So one motor is swinging back and forth and pendulum is also swinging back and forth. These data, data can be exported to comma delimited file for further analysis. We just say export. So time stamp of motor angle, pendulum angle and everything. We can analyze it further anywhere we, we want say in MATLAB. Right now I am doing a eigen system realization. So there are four dominant mode, others are zero. It's pretty obvious that we have two states for motor angle and two states for uh, pendulum. In this presentation, we have seen Maples in multi-body block modeling with Furata pendulum example. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you.